welcome back. Uh, this is PC Smith Nine, and today I will be showing you a brief preview of an alpha version of the new Avanti chassis. This is a prototype, but will be modified for public use soon. Features on you are from other vehicles but will be removed and features that it does run on will be restricted into the system. Basically normal features like lighting that will be modified and improved. Easy, like ease of access and different stuff. Um, but mainly like engine, sound effects and different stuff like that. Um, there are a couple of bugs in the system as it is alpha. Well, it's just barely alpha. So um, the system doesn't run as smooth as it will when it's released. This system will be released when it's fully done and will be updated briefly when my scripters are available. At the minute, ATS isn't going to be updated yet because my script is ain't on and that's heavily bugged because of Roblox, basically. So, anyways, let's get into it and I'll show you a couple of features of the new system. So, as you see, it uses constraints, new features. Um, basically, this, oh yeah, this block is the engine and when the vehicle gets overheated or it's overused it will break down and will disable the seat allowing you not to use it and it will render you to fix the vehicle as done there animations are being added and will be free used in a separate model so you'll be able to add your own animations or make your own animations to it um, but yeah and basically this is what it will show sometimes it does glitch and it doesn't stop doing this which is what we gotta figure out and it's doing it now so um, yeah so what we need to do is we need to refresh the server and see if it works that way but we will be redoing this as Roblox just doesn't like it, sadly. So either we're going to find um, a fix for this version where you just press the B button to fix the vehicle and you're going to press it up to five times to fix the vehicle or you just click on the block instead and it'll fix it that way. And this time it did it. So it, it would allow you to go into the car um, and drive it but it just shows that fixing system but uh, it should do this and we've got a new GUI designed which I have there I've downloaded some templates and used paint.net to remove the background and enhance it um, so yeah so these are will be moving and I've designed these so these are nicer looking but you can modify them to your taste basically um, what you don't see as much as these oh yeah, but these will show up um, numbers so you've got the analog and the numbers so analog and digital um, so yeah that's basically and my studio's crashed again um, I'm having problems with my studio at the night clashing, so I've had to record this multiple times. Anyways, uh, that's basically it. Oh, uh, one feature I haven't shown you, which I can't at the minute, because it seems studio is, keeps on crashing. So let me load it back up, and I'll show you this cool new feature, which I'm proud to show you. And let's hopefully it won't crash ignore the output but there that's uh, something to do with another script right 
Um, there will be smoke coming out of the engine too to simulate um, the engine overheated or it's broken down. I'll just leave that around like that. I can just show you this. So you got lights, and what the light, what the lights do? They um, emit. I've got emitters, so particle emitters will emit more light to make it like a. Oh, how can I say this? A flare. Uh, so you've got a more realistic style of light, where it's a beam. As you see, it's a more effective lighting system than regular basic lights, like regular blocks like that. It gives you a more natural appearance. I can do it the same as with the blinkers. But with this lighting system, it's a bit glitched. So that's why we're going to redesign it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, so that's going to be it for the video. And um, I'll see you guys next time. This is BC Smith Line, and I'll catch you later.